Now, don't you love it when you pop someone's... Well, everything off with one of your shots. Did you not see what I did to your friend? Hello everyone, I'm Echo, and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. Now we need to get right on it, picking up in the next mission that we're working through. Radio Free Monarch. Yes, I realize I never went and picked the kid up from the lab back there. I kind of left him for Raptor Chow, so uh, yeah. But we need to speak with uh, Noka and Stella Bay, finish contact. Oh yeah, hopefully we don't get squashed this time. Became hunter named Noka. Uh, she frequents the Yacht Club in Serbe, so look for her there. The what? Well, this is gonna hurt. Mm. Hold on there. You in. Good. Was there an easier. Oh, it's an elevator. You know what? We'll just pretend like that didn't just happen. Don't think I've seen you around. No. That means you must be new to Stella Bay. You are new here, right? Please tell me I can lie. Well, that is my ship on the landing pad right now, too. You seem surprised. But I'm not here for chit chat. Wait. Don't go just yet. I've been practicing for this. Oh my god. Here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest Saltuna and Halcyon. Please state your name for the record. Why does everyone eat Saltuna? Um, me? I'm Alex Hawthorne. It's probably not a good idea. I prefer to travel discreetly. Um, I'm Alex Hawthorne. Well, there's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Hmm. Is so Bay really that isolated? We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublights. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's mm. Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Pardon? I'm good. See ya. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh. And if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor. Oh, God. Everyone has a favor they want to ask me to do. What is it? I got this Rizzo's Rangers toss ball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. Do you think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Sure. Thanks a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Good for you. Okay, let's get a move on. Gonna pretend like I didn't accidentally crunch my legs a bit. Guards, let's not cause too much trouble. Sure, let's go figure out this guy's poster real quick. Uh, you two numbskulls gonna let me through? Enough. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Excuse me. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. Good for you. What can I do for you today? I could give you a few options, but uh, let's stick with the one that I currently have equipped. Um, what's that exchange about? You having money problems? Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix a thing his own self and busted it even worse and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough so he's docking your wages again? Parvet? Not that I got any prior experience with him. Parvet, calm down, not low. Not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on rafted on acid. Pardon? Uh, do you normally blow your <laughs> blow your money on raptodon parts? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or mantis worm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. Why? So I can talk to him, of course. He Damn doesn't it. get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Squish? Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff. 
And some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Okay. <laughs> Squish? Really? Squish? That That's what you have? That's what you guys have? Squish? I kind of like it. I kind of do like it. And also, you probably... <laughs> you probably wanted to actually fill you up with something, but not your apartment and not with stuff. <laughs> Just ask him. Jesus. I couldn't. What if he said no? Hey, maybe you could ask him for me. I, I mean, a no would still be bad, but it won't be quite as embarrassing if you ask. Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. Wait, okay, what do you see in him? Like, what do you actually see in him? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. <laughs> Fuck, okay, um... Legs, really? Huh? Okay. <laughs> That is the weirdest reason. Um, you really want to be some with someone you can't talk to? Yeah, kind of interested in that one. You think that's what I'm looking for? <laughs> You're funny. You're flirting. Uh, that's all I need to know. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Okay. Oh, uh, poster. No, there was something. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? I haven't talked yet. I, I forgot about, um, doing asking to check with you about his toss ball poster. I forgot you know, about it. Sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man. Because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it. But if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you. Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. Okay. I'll get right on both of those. She's bloody hell. I don't know, nor do I care whether or not I'm supposed to be in here. Hello, I'm supposed to ask about a poster. Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. I'm just... Uh... Catherine said she'd shove you in a box if you keep running your yap like that. Did she now? Well, I can see I was mistaken. Because if Catherine really had sent you, there'd be a lot more expletives in your message. Fair enough. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. Fair enough. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Missing? Your chief what, though? Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. Too many? He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. Free colony? What the fuck does that mean? Uh, can't constrain... Uh, we'll come back eventually. You can't constrain a person's freedom. Uh, so, find him and drag him out by his ears? I would if I weren't busy here picking up his slack. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma <laughs> said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra drugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Poster, specifically. Uh, Grim's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? I think, um... You still have the poster, right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Um... Uh, didn't he pay for it? <laughs> no. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster... But it's not his until I take his money. Fair enough. Uh, who's Nell, I guess? 
She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. Interesting. So it's about the money? Damn right it is. Sure. You know what? I want to get this fucker his poster. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. What was that? Ammo's expensive. Persuade, work with me. I'll help you find Brax. I'm helping you find Braxton, aren't I? Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. Fair enough. How have I gotten stuck on this? I'm running people's errands for them. What the hell? <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Like, how the hell do I get into these situations? What's this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. I mean, do you? So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh, wait. <laughs> he and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. Pay them a bit more, then. Uh... Ain't that to slap him? Yeah. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm not into kinks. I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. <laughs> if you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the yacht club. He's usually there. I need to head there anyways. Um... I don't care whether or not the guy's getting high. Uh... Who's this Catherine you mentioned when I first come in here? Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Stellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground six spacer. I don't know what that means, but okay. <sighs> How the fuck do I keep getting in these situations? So, uh, how in storage? Why do I have a waypoint for that? Uh, villain's container. That's for the poster, isn't it? Take some bits. Let's not break into that just yet. Okay, let's deal with the date thing first, then. Hello, hello. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest Tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait. Don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No. Glacial H Mammoths. Ah. Uh, damn it. So close. Uh, I'm not here to chat about teams. That's a shame. Tossball's I missed the, the joke. Balls and stick. When our frequency's not too clogged up anyway. So, what can I do for you? Uh, something, I think. Uh, I mean... Something, but something else. Uh, Tron or Scene, Tospo Game, Lontosine. Oh, no, I don't care. I'm just gonna take it. Ultimately, I'm just gonna take it. <laughs> uh. Oh, fuck. Let's start our missions. Help! Someone's been killed! Uh. What? Do you. What? I think I'm gonna be sick. Are you all right? You just ran. No, I just stepped in a dead man's blood, and I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Maybe go speak to the guards. Who are you? I don't care. Which apartment? There's a dead guy. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Just poo pee was all. Parvet, we, we've killed like an army's worth of people at this point. We've been in gory, gory fights, and you're worried about one dead guy? See, fair on where the hell this guy's gone. So red outfits, all the same cut and color. Seven suitcase. Curious. See a steel rat. What does that mean? 
Uh, the betting slips with some increasingly bold wagers for a team called Mostly Colonists. Some left field baseball team. It's your apartment for clues. What the hell have I gotten involved with? I guess we're investigating a murder like NCIS or something like that. Oh god. If I had the time, I'm so... Oh, making a custom little intro thing specifically for this uh, wrong place. Uh, hello? Got any news from the rest of Halcyon? No. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? I found a dead guy. I found this bang up in dead man's. A can I put it any? Okay, yep, just blading. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Okay, cut to chase. Do you know who did it or not? I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. Okay. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Interesting. Uh, thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. How? Oh, okay. So, let's remember. We initially came here to talk to a hunter who should be able to... Either give us information about supplies, something for Phineas to further our main quest. We got stopped by the guard, who then asked us to investigate his poster shipment. Then we got stopped by the warehouse chick, who after informing us she wasn't going to sell it to him, but told us if we helped her, that she may give it to us. She has now sent us on a mission to investigate two of her workers, who have disappeared somewhat, and now we're investigating a dead guy's murder. What the fuck is going on? I feel like I'm in a show from Cartoon Network, like Steven Universe or some shit, with like, so many different plot lines going on at the same goddamn time, and I'm not sure I can keep them all together. I have no clue what's going on. Things just keep rolling into one another. I what this Man, please. I need your help. I can pay. Oh, God. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Meaning? Please, you have to help me get my little brother back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Jesus. Okay, um... Where'd you last see him? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the woman to save your little ducky. And I was right. Okay, info. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders with toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, boy, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a She's probably like dead this. already. Please, can't we help? Okay, we'll go... Okay. I'll help you find your son right after I finish dealing with the Backstreet Boys over there. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. We're only gonna find a corpse. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. To God, if I find out he's a 20-year-old guy, I'm gonna come back here, and I don't care how many guards are gonna shoot at me, I'm gonna pop your fucking head like a pimple. I'm about to pop some heads already. Oh, there we go. Better this way. Backstreet boys are over here. Hello, hello. Who the fuck are Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. It's an alley, you darst or greaser. Crates to market. Uh, I know you murdered Isaac. Listen, that purple-toothed twerp had it coming. 
Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Damn it. Um... Wrong answer. Ow, they just knocked me out cold. Why ain't that just a bitch? Where is this gonna place me? Got her. Back out my Parvetta. There we go. Yep. Okay, you're good. Sweet. Wonder if anyone heard the shots. Okay, well we're gonna have to head to headquarters uh, eventually, anyways. Uh, where is? There we go. Let's go save the kid then. I thought we got involved with so many things in such a short amount of time. Holy shit, this is cool looking. Love it, Barbetta. Okay, yep, you're right there. Come on, let's get a move on. Whew. Smells like those old Sundays when we'd unload Saltuna shipments at the cannery. Hmm. Interesting. I need to stop doing that. There we go. Oh, drug addiction. Taking his many drugs. I fully healed. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need them. Oh, how you feeling? Ooh, she wasn't lying about those acid pools. Jesus. I seen that story of those two kids that went jumpy into one of those hot spring things and, uh, only a flip-flop could be retrieved. Oh, I'm guessing you fell into there. Well, good for you. That was a... Let's just not wake it up. Oh, bitch. Incoming! God damn it, Parvet! Well, we're here. Yeah, I'm not sure we can get past the first stop stickle. Nope, we can get past it. <laughs> like, like you arrive, the gate's just closed. There's no way to climb over it, and at that point, it's like, are there not deaths they crash you on me? Let's continue forward. Hi. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? I'm sure. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Okay. I don't want a pamphlet. Just tell me who you are. Why, we're the only three people in Halcyon. Uh -huh. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Which he seems kind of nice. Problems that are erupted, Dons, or marauders, or me. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Hmm. Uh, I'm, uh, but... Got it. I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Okay. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Good to know. What the Seems fuck? like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. Yeah, looks can be deceiving. Pretty sure most murderers look like somewhat decent looking men. Women. Whoever. Uh, yeah, looks can be deceiving. We need to find just a pile of corpses. He's a full grown man. I'm gonna go blow that chick's head off when we get back. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Your mother. Captain Missy. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. I know. You here to join the iconoclasts? Help us free this world? 
I mean, I'm already kind of doing that my, on my own. You're Anja's little boy from Stellar Bay? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. Jesus. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. She may seem like you were in danger. Asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life, she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Vantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. I mean, you'd fall in a sulfur pool. I'd kick you in one. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but Jesus. she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. How old is your mother? Intimidate, I'm getting that reward. Either you go back or I'll beat it out of her. <laughs> yeah, sure. Captain, what are you saying? Parvik, come on, I said worse. Yeah, what? what in the nebula is wrong with you? She's an old woman. You threaten my flesh and blood just to get me to do what you want? I can beat it out of you. And Parvit, really? Are you surprised? Lags, I was only kidding. That was not even close to funny. I found it funny. Okay, so what do you want to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. We can make that happen. You know... That might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, that's one way of dealing with family. You okay with her thinking you're dying? Don't you think that'll hurt you? Yeah, you're, you have a problem with me willing to beat the hell out of an old lady for a reward for a man that's 42 to be returned to her because of her little, because of you being your little boy. Yet, you're fine with faking your own death and leaving her believing you're dead for the rest of her days? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? I'm gonna need some proof of... That it was your body I found. Oh, right. Uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mm. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. And ultimately, if it doesn't work, I could just make you a natural corpse. And Parvit, really? Are you really surprised? Where are we headed? I want to know, were you really surprised? What was that about back at Julian's? Uh... Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. Oh, that. And did you see the size of her arms? I thought you were about to say something else. Um, she seems very confident. She's okay, I guess. Are you all right? Duh! My perception's not up. Damn it. Oh, I really want to say that one. Um, she seems very competent. Gosh, did she ever. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lay? She's just, here's how to fix it. And they trust her. It's just, she's calm and knows what to do. I wish I was half so confident. Oh, That's sweet. Uh, what do you think about Felix? He seems like a nice boy to me. I'm glad you gave him a shot. Yeah. Okay. He didn't see very much. Maybe he doesn't talk all smarty smart, but he can still have a good word it counts. In his heart, I mean. I mean, sure, he's a bit rough around the edges. I bet he just needs somebody to show him a better path. I'll leave that to the murder bots. And the onboard AI. <laughs> They're watching a show together, you know that, right? I I'm pretty sure you could have heard it over the intercom but they are like like i don't know what the fuck the show's called but they're watched <laughs> why did i bring him on parvet's the only one i leave the ship with i was mostly thinking you'd be higher muscle or something to throw into well, the fray 
Uh, so you're saying I could sculpt him into an ideal minion? That's not exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> That's exactly what you're saying. I hope I get the option to mention the crush thing again. God, if I go up another level, I can work into some perception. Uh, yeah, we're supposed to talk to you, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, you're back! Please tell me you found my baby boy. Where is he? Where's my little Tucker? Little, that's what you call. I'm sorry, but Tucker said <laughs> lie one. I I've done much better than that, so uh. No, that can't be true. Not my little boy. Not my baby. Wait, are you sure it wasn't someone else? Maybe my little boy's all right. How could you know it was him? Uh, found this ring on Tucker's body. That's Tucker's ring. His daddy gave it to him, and he never took it off since. How did you? No, no, it can't be. He's not dead. Not my child. Not my sweet Tucker. I promise I always look out for him. Take the money. Just. Please leave me the green. Oh, please tell me I get. Oh, I couldn't squeeze. Ay, Jesus Christ, I get it. Level up. I wish I could have squeezed a little bit more money out of her. Okay. I want a chance to get the freaking dialogue option. Actually, I'm um, pretty sure I remember discovering. Yeah, there you go. Sebastian, how's it going? Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? I'm good. Where you do you like get a this? Woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. What? <laughs> Let's talk about her. How do you pronounce huh. it? I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. Mm. I hope it's working okay. Because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait. I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no. no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smoked? Smooch? Don't Shut get up. me wrong. <laughs> I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for rapted on tongues. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. He... Okay. Uh, okay. You know what? Shine like a diamond. And as thick as one as well. Okay. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. Well, you sound pretty sure. Yes. And she is awful nice. That I can agree with. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay, I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. He's right there. Like, like, Parvid. Parvid, like, you were right behind me. He's right there. He could hear you safe. Oh, it's shit. Now you made me hit my microphone. Oh, boy, uh, what have I got myself into? Uh, yeah, let's go investigate the apartment. Since both of them are back that way, and I can investigate the apartment, and then deal with the other thing, and the other thing, and the other thing. God, so many things! Whatever you do, don't make me talk. Dude. Get the fuck off the drugs and get back to the fucking factory so I can get that poster. <gasps> oh. You startled me. Don't sneak up on a person like that, huh? Uh, I'm looking for Braxton. Braxton? I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you. Sorry. Uh, relax. Someone's in trouble and just looking for to have a friendly chat with him. Oh. In that case... He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there. Thanks. I nearly brained the wrong person. We hurry, Captain. You know what? Hurry is not in my dictionary. Okay, it really isn't. Hello, hello. Well, new business turns up at last. Nine kind of. 
Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Okay. With these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. No, I don't. Um, no, you have a meeting with me. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? Guy was murdered. Um, <laughs> me, I'm trying my own back going. Uh, sure? Why, he's probably still out at Devil's Peak. Not that he's had the courtesy to notify me, at any rate. But if you're here for him, I suppose that means you aren't here for Saltuna. No, why did we ask that? Pass off food's butt rack. If I have to eat one more weird science project, pass off as food in this bat sprat fucked colony, I'm going to stab someone. That's not yes, a joke. That's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. You want to be the one that gets stabbed? Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Weren't we supposed to inform oh, him? Don't worry on my account. But this is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. Now, I Good had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Good for you. Good for you. What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. Oh. Now, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Fair enough. Um, and your tire is scrounging, scrapping by, is that it? Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal, but a rather costly paramour. Make a good point. Indeed. Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. Um... On our terms, mind you. But will that help the people here, Mr. Sanjar? Keep them fed and safe? Remember That's the previous place I she's from? What I'm trying to do. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. You can take me into your hands anytime. So you know what knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. Fine, but how do you mean to do that? With a Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. Pardon? If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. I kind of realize where this conversation has gone. I don't want to join the board. I kind of want to tear them and everyone else apart. I want to bring it all burning, crashing down. I don't want to be friendly with Halcyon. What the fuck? How is this happening? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Hmm. Where do I find one? In the old arms building southwest of town. God damn it. used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. These days it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Easy. Uh, I'll see what I can find. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and Thank while you. you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. So sell it to everyone that will take it. Gotcha. Uh, before I go, I need to ask you something. What can I do for you? Okay, we inform about the murder. But that's terrible. What happened? 
Uh, I'm taking care of it. Carissa dead. But that means we won't be able to log their testimonies. If there's one thing I've been hoping to re-establish in Stellar Bay, it's proper documentation for legal matters. Uh, something to be said for that. Something you gotta take... Sometimes you gotta take matters into your own hands. Celia, I do hope you're taking notes. I've got to remember some of these quips. Indeed, sir. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider Sweet. this payment for your services. Okay. And I... Uh, I met Grim, the guard of the landing pad. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? Oh yeah, we were supposed to say something about that. Uh... <laughs> he did a bang-up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? Take a bullet to the head, that would help. Oh, God. I don't want to help Alcyon. Not gonna. Where the fuck was the other missions I was doing with? Hello, hello. New face, huh? You from off world? One more person says that, I'm gonna go on a rampage. Um, Captain Hawthorne. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Sit a spell and revel with us. I'm good. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> <laughs> um, you need to talk about Velm. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? You getting your ass back to that warehouse? Uh, Sanjay's going to fire Velm if you don't return to work. Sure. I never meant to call for anyone's head on a pike. Velma's not my favorite person, but she ain't been cruel to us. Devil it all. Now you got me feeling sorry for her. Fine. I guess we'll go back to work to save Velma's job. We'll find a better time to negotiate our wages. Tell Velma not to worry. We'll look out for her. Easy enough. Let's go inform her, then gotta head out of town southwest to the one place to go. See if the doc's gotten himself killed or not. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. I'm working on it, Gosh, okay? This old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess and Edgewater was in better shape than this. <laughs> hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh. I see what you're saying. Huh. I'll have to try that. Best anyway, goddamn engineer in the galaxy. Th this one? She's getting a raise for that. I don't pay him. I pay none of you. Why are any of you sticking with me? I don't pay you. Uh, you said, uh, not about the drugs. Uh, sub? You knocked any sense into him yet? Technically. Metaphorically. Uh, I told him you were about to lose your job, so he'd come back. Well, that's awful nice of him. Sure wouldn't have expected that. Thanks for your help. You've gotten me out of a tight spot here. Take this for your efforts. Honest work deserves honest pay. Sweet. Something else on your mind? No, I'm good. I gotta go get the other guy from the drug den. Boy, how? Oh. Okay, let's see if this guy got himself killed. Don't like that I did have to kind of teleport into this place. Interesting game. A better a visitor? Son of a bitch. What an unexpected surprise. Please come in. Come in. I'm looking for a name a man named Burks. I'm afraid we don't get many visitors out here. The Raptodons and Marauders scare off all but the boldest. And if you've braved them, you must be exhausted. Why don't you stay for dinner? You ate him, didn't you? Um, sure you haven't seen barracks? I'm sure I would remember something like that. Now, quit fretting yourself about that. Make yourself at home. Dinner's almost ready. They're so gonna try and eat us. Harveta? Ready? Fuck do I do? Us. 
Yeah, that's a damn lie. It's got to be around here somewhere. Uh, sunrise, sun creates words. Trees, sky, hunger. There is an art. Hurts all the time. He's hungry, so he can't think. Yeah. They so way Braxton. Book! Hey, what are you doing in my room? About to blow your fucking head off. Oh. Sorry, I was just looking around. Liar. You're trying to steal the last of my rocket candies, aren't you? No, your rocket candies? The ones that come in a bottle with a rocket ship on it. Like the other man used to bring. What other man? I'm not telling you. You want to get beat to death? I'm going. Fuck, you scare me. Ooh, locked door. That does not stop me. Oh, well. Oh, no. Found him. No, 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 no. Woo! I was right. Uh, yep. They ate him. Lovely. What was that called? Supper time? Okay. Well. I know how to deal with murderous cannibals. But what's this? You're tracking blood into the kitchen. Uh-huh. Oh, dear. You've been nosy, haven't you? I mean, that's kind of what I do. Um, relax. This does not end badly. It does. Of course not. What better end for the day than a meal around the family table? And what more noble purpose for you than to bring us together? Mm-hmm. Or you let me go, and I can send more meals your way. Now there's an intriguing prospect. Forgo the promise of a fine dinner now for others down the road. Martha, my dear, what do you say? It seems the Eternal shall provide through our new friend. And there we have it. Stop by any time, hmm? Uh-huh. See, ammo's pretty expensive. And, I mean, I probably could have went out that back door, but, nah, we're good. Oh, great. We found a murderous cannibal family. Just fucking lovely. Stellar Bay, you have probably been one of the most interesting locations I have encountered yet. Oh, and there's only more to come. Hey, Val, I found you, guy. Cannibals ate him. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but... Uh, I got some bad news about Braxton. That he's got his load on and I'm stuck covering his shift? Uh, yeah, no. Wow. I sure feel like an ass now. Uh, cheer up. Me now he can hire someone better? Oh, sure. Because Monarch's just teeming with experts in the finer points of salt tuna health. Still, it's good to know what happened to him. And that I ought to start looking for a replacement. Yeah. Something else on your mind? The poster? You know what else I'm looking for. Uh, you said Braxton, uh, this one? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Come on, I helped you! Persuade, help me out here. I found Braxton, didn't I? Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Yes. Okay, you s uh, no. I don't care about him stealing stuff considering, you know, dead. Uh, not did she give me the poster? I don't know if she gave me the poster. Let me go check if it's still up there. You started all of this. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? Oh, that and a hell of a lot more. Here. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Good for you. That is so loud. Back to what we were supposed to be originally doing. Hello. And the little bastard's slippery, right? 
on account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. How fucking drunk are you? Excuse me. Don't interrupt. It's rude. I am very rude. But I gotta get in there. Get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I'd... Shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn rapt out there. Right. What are you staring... Wait. Who are you from around here? Who are you? How drunk are you? Missy, pleasure to meet you. Ooh, charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Mm. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? <laughs> you can get me an information broker. Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass... Brass, brass tax. Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. And you want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Okay. So what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of... Uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine something? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Do I have one already? Medical. Mean caffeinoid. That stuff's a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? Alright. God fucking damn it. Oh, <laughs> why? Why does everyone need something? Hello, give me the damn pills or I'll kill you. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? Uh, I've been asked to pick up some caffeinoid su supplements. And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Yeah, I don't Who's need any Viagra. Friend, dearie? Actually, the pills are for me. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stella Bay residents. You wanna die? Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Mm-hmm. You can't trust people these days. Except for you, I can tell. You've got one of those pills. Oh, I too. do. I I'd do. I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Uh, no, Auntie. Uh, you'll have to pry that secret from me, from my sweet little cheeks. Aren't you a saucy thing? Uh-huh. I may not be a fresh young thing anymore, but... With age comes experience, dear. Pravetta, I you can take this one on. Um, this got weird fast. Maybe some other time then, when Auntie's personal allotment of stimulation is restored. Okay. But I'd hate to send you away empty-handed. You were here for caffeinoid, weren't mm -hmm. you? Who's it for? That's private. Now, now, there's no keeping secrets from Auntie Abigail. I'll tease it out of you one way or another. Parvetta, oh, help! I really do have to enter someone's name for the allotment. Oh. After all, I have to keep track of where our little pills wander off to. Hmm. Why don't you just write down my name as Lasso Bits? Lasso Bits. Lot two twenty. Oh, fuck off! I suppose that's reasonable. Indeed. Now, I'm not spending 2600 this pickups for? Just lie! This is for... Oh, 
her. Look, you know what? It's none of my business. But I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. I get that. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to... Pry. That's a damn lie. Okay, um... Can't... <sighs> God damn it. I really need her. Uh, there must be some way I can increase her allotment. I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Terminal upstairs. Besaid, you're in charge around here, aren't you? Uh, sure ought to be. Intimidate, enough sweet talk, give me caffeine. Taste your own medicine. Uh, let's try persuading. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. Damn it. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Oh. Rimey, what supply room? The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. I see. Ah, uh, well. Yep, where can I find him? In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. Lovely. Uh, what? Where's this graveyard? The graveyard near the southern ruins. God damn You're it! Certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasts. You know what? I can handle them. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Up, dearie. Okay, so dispensary. Doctor Williams. Let's go search his body. Wait. He said the allotment could be changed from terminal upstairs. Complete login. Hack. Hey. Records, no lag. Crease. There we go. Push records. Sweet. That was easy enough. Don't mind me. Uh, how about those pills Hello again? again dearie. What can I get the pills, please. I'm picking up Caffeine for Novak. Now that can't be. Ms. Ramnareen Wentworth has already exceeded the month's... Oh. Dear me. She does have another dose in her allotment. How did I miss this? Ah, it happens to all of us. Um, could be your eyesight or your mind. I hear they both go with age. My hearing certainly hasn't. I'll get the medicine so you can be on your way. Thank you. Here's Neoka's caffeine. Neoka. And if I know her, she's probably ready for it by now. Yeah, definitely. Good day to you, young lady. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. That's why it's good to pay attention to what they say. Let's go ahead and get her a damn caffeine and get her on the ship. Not exactly sure how we're handling this part. Got your caffeine. Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All? All of the above? Oh, we both went for the same joke. More or less dangerous than a steady supply of alcohol. Give it in. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh, oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. Okay. Glad to have you. Great. Where to? Let's find the information broker. Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. Oh. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. Fair enough. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain cavern. We can discuss options when we get closer. Gotcha. I hope you like being part of our crew, Nyoka. 
We're real excited to have you. Yeah, we got a dollar store. Um, you keep Monarch safe, huh? That's real honorable work, Miss Yuga. Oh, no, no. Monarch ain't safe, even with me around. I've just got intimate knowledge of its dangers and an abundance of fortitude. Folks hire me because I know what you can shoot and what you ought to run from. That's a mistake you only get to make once. Is that it? What do you think about this? In trouble today? <laughs> Always, Parvetta. Always. Okay, I have two of them now. What was it like in Edgewater? I hear you workers were on the clock every available moment. We always got eight hours a day to sleep in. Just not always consecutive. My condolences. I appreciate consistent wages like any other sane person, but that still sounds awful. At least Sanjar gives his folks weekends. Weekends? Hand to the void. I used to drop by the bar in Stellar Bay to knock a few back with the folks who had Saturdays off. I don't know what I'd have done with that much time. I was always behind schedule anyhow. Knowing you, you'd sit and be alone with your thoughts. You two done? Good. Hey, Cap. Got a minute? Sure. You... Both of you are, like, way, way too intimate. You guys need to back the hell up. Sure. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Okay. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, you might stop in on an old friend of mine. Is it the cannibals? Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed. And I could use the help. Thanks for the compliment, I think. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Hmm. I monitor your asking and I'm thrilled to accept. What can I do? Really? Here I was stealing myself for inevitable rejection. I used to run with a band of hunters. Friends. Six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, like the family we once were. Um, what do you need to do? First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he Jesus. rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Okay, I think the sun just came up. Um, and after that? Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. Sounds fun. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. Yeah, don't mind you. Sun decided to come out, come up while we were talking, but whatever. God damn it! Oh, that's a giant skull. That's a giant skull. Good old Stellar Bay, only place on the planet that don't stink of sulfur, on account of it stinking like fish instead. You reckon the smell ever goes away? Maybe the wind off the sea helps. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, I mean, I don't even know whether a tree is a shower on the ship, but Parvetta, you, you're probably going to have to shower for a while to get that stink off. Me, I mean, I've had gore stuck to me since the beginning, so it doesn't really matter. Mega creature, holy crap. The fuck is a mega creature? I think it had a ton of stuff on it. South here. Off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent truck ahead of us. Yeah, I'm working on it. What the fuck is that thing? 
Didn't you mention something called a monarch queen? That thing's tough. Oh, there's two of them. Got it. Whoo! Big thing. Big, big, big thing. How are you two doing? What the fuck? Oh, guys! Jesus! You didn't mention landmines. Fall brooks on the other side of the bridge there if you need a drink. <laughs> We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Yeah, I'm good. I'd turn back. This path has been a death trap for many. Yep. Safer paths up can be found to the west. I'm good. Mm. Ah, great. Oh, son of a bitch. There. God damn it. Good. Ow. I call this rotting river mm -hmm. on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. Mm. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others to slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. Uh, What's up? He said, uh, where do we go from here? Let's see. These caves lead up through the mountain. It ain't the most direct way, but it's the safest. Okay. What's up? What do you mean by fun, then? Right. We can take the caverns up, but if you ain't into spelunking, there's a path a little ways north. I don't warn you, it'll be a tough trek. Big bads up on that hill. I'm game to hunt them if you are, but it'd be safer to stick to the caverns. Yeah, since when have I made this smart, safe option? There we go. Wow. Let's clear the sulfur stone. Here we go. What the fuck is that to Raptodon Colossus? Holy shit! I wanted to kill. Damn thing jumped. Uh, through art scar and any ways, very got himself in doing the right thing. <laughs> uh, buried near the surface of Hot Scrape's small lockbox, it tends to thrust it through, so it almost completely right away. It really falls apart in your hands, but you manage to find a turnstile medallion bearing the letters Karin. Charin, whatever. Is that what we need? Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Hmm. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track him down, it's him. Uh... Ought to see the broker, then. I'm not gonna get started on that. Let let let's just keep moving. Let's go take the let, let's let's go look at those caverns. Said so relatively safe, correct? Holy crap, that's cool. Look up. That makeshift bridge, we gotta cross it. First we go under, then hook around to the left, then up and over. Yeah, what was that about relatively safe? Ah, uh, great. Relatively safe, she said. There we go. Woo! My bastards do a number on me. Lovely. That's oh, a mega. Shit. That's a big one. We can tiptoe around to the left or go in guns blazing. Up to you. I vote the latter. 
I don't have the ammo. I want to fight it, but I don't have the ammo. And we are free of this cavern. No matter which way we went, that was just gonna suck in general. Wasn't it? A chance in hell that not going poorly. Whoa, okay. Are you actually gonna speak? Holy hey, crap. You, get over here. There are marauders here. Oh, no. Hi. How the hell did marauders navigate the cavern? Hmm. This you? station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. Good for you, no. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Thanks for your tip. Hey, we're here to help. Long as the paperwork's done and the pay's good. Mm -hmm. Me and Sunshine oh are God, doing no. exactly what we've been tasked with. And that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. I'm off. Okay. Let's get into the station. And kill some fuckers. Now oh, don't you love it when you pop someone's... Well, everything off with one of your shots. Did you not see what I did to your friend? Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... He spooks easy. Easy? There was like well over two dozen of these fuckers. What do you mean easy? I'm pretty sure that was spook me. God fucking damn it. I hate the marauders. That's... Can't we'll see about that? Huh? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of them. Yeah. The there we go. Here's the elevator, but ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Can I just hurt this guy since he's gonna be an annoyance? Uh You out there, whoever you are, yes, yes, I can see you. Come here and talk to me. Face the intercom. <laughs> Such a freaking buzz. Hope you don't mind me stealing stuff. I can't tell if you're brave or simply touched in the head. What in the galaxy are you doing sniffing around my station? Unless you are, in fact, trying to suicide by Marauder? <laughs> And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. <laughs> also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purple berry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. Need information about the, uh, information broker about... We can call you Hiram on yeah. account of that's your damn yeah. name, and doubly on the account of the broker being a dumbass alternative. <laughs> what? Everyone calls me that. Aside from you. Why me? You're here, and you're armed, aren't you? The feed's Fine. gone grainy, but it looks like you're packing deadly force. Mm, fair enough. I know is for sure. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. Gotcha. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. 
Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Gotcha. Uh, how many Rars broke into the station? Too many. Okay, gotcha. Toys don't don't going rate. What's the going rate? Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. Here we go. So glad you two got in here in time. Okay, where's that flamethrower? Hello, hello. Working on it. There we go. Hello, hello. I never thought I'd be ecstatic at having the walls painted in blood, but <laughs> seeing as it's not mine, I'd say this calls for a celebration. God, My no. My compliments on your improvised utilization of the fire suppressant system. I would expect nothing less from one of Neoka's associates. As usual, I'll take that as a compliment. Of course. This ought to square our debts. One hefty payment for a highly valued service rendered. I admit, I do wonder why Nioka has brought you to me. I need services. Allow me to pose my question in another manner. Why, in the nebula, are you here? Uh, I told you I'm looking for a uh, certain information broker. Ah, yes. Our little chat on the intercom. You're looking for the premier broker for all of Monarch. Which you knew was me, clearly. Phineas must have sent you. Mm -hmm. He's the only one insane enough to send someone to Monarch to rush me. I knew it was only a matter of time before he came a knocking. Look, I might be late, but I fulfill my contracts always. Oh, you do, do you? I have lost track of the number of beers you owe me for chasing Raptodons off your stoop. <laughs> Are you fibbing? Be honest. I take offense to that. Look, okay. Just, it might take me a while this time. Why? I am awaiting but a single incoming transmission containing the information we desire. But MSI and the Iconoclasts are clogging the airwaves from Stellar Bay and Amber Heights. In their war against each other, they're scrambling each other's mm. outgoing transmissions. So we kick them off. Exactly what I was thinking. They hurt us all with their pettiness. Which of course has inadvertently affected the incoming port and my livelihood. Can we cut them off from inside the station? No, they're jamming the limited frequencies we have at our disposal. Nothing extra planetary can get in or out until the frequency pollution thins out. The safest bet is to convince Graham and Sanjar to stop transmitting on their end. Oh my god, I'm just gonna shoot all of them and be done with it. <sighs> Where in Stellar Bay? My former partner, Sanjar, transmits from his office in MSI's headquarters in the center of town. Don't I knew let that. him try to fool you. While his messages might seem like gibberish, they are in reality coded business orders to off-world companies. I understand why he needs the bandwidth, but we had a deal and he's broadcasting ceaselessly. Okay. In my Amber Heights. Amber Heights is one of the only surviving settlements outside of Stellar Bay. Graham Bryant and the Iconoclast there got their hands on a working relay station. Now they're ceaselessly transmitting philosophist ramblings on my airwaves. Okay. Talk some sense into them. You do that, I'll be here waiting on the receiving end. Luck be with you. I have a feeling you'll be needing a pinch of it, plus a vat of patience. <laughs> my patience right then. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called this friends. <sighs> I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Uh, she's a friend and she's in need. You're the only one that can help. Tug on my heartstrings, why don't you? <laughs> Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wadsworth. They took a UDL contract back when Monarch went to shit, and I need to find them. I believe them to be on Terra, too. 
If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes around one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh, good luck. Same. Same. Be a doll and shoot any marauders you spot on the way down. Working on it. Working on Working on not shooting you. And don't call me doll. Do you, do you want to get cut in half? I I have an energy blade. I will cut you in half. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. Good, I have plenty of ammo. Can you test me? Manticore. Yeah, we felled it, mind. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, I will fucking end you. Teacher, I am one. Welcome to Just the class. Stop your broadcasting. I don't care what porn it is you're broadcasting. I don't care what it is. Just stop for five minutes. Let my transmission get through so I can get the info. I don't even know what info I'm supposed to be getting. Just I'm supposed to be getting info. Let me get that. And then you two can go back to your circle jerk battle. All on your own. Uninterrupted. I don't give a damn at that point. Just stop. And, so, <laughs> and this is Amber Heights. I expected more altars. Or incest? Or both? Shed the trappings of a materialistic life, Captain. You'll find your soul much less burdened. I never introduced also, myself. we're broke. <laughs> yes. If we were meant to enjoy the things that glitter and shine, the universe would provide them. Okay, makes sense. It's if I can... It's for setting. It's for now. <laughs> is provide them on store shelves. No, no, no. There's a difference. Come back for a meditation session later. The peace will clear your mind. I'm gonna clear I your to fucking mind. To be before we were abandoned. Here, here. You're from Cascadia, right? I still find empty Rizzo bottles in the river. Ugh. In fairness, I give my right tit for a pallet of ice cold spectrum right now. Zora. Sorry, what? Do not encourage the very habits that the eternal truth has finally steered us away from. Now, why have you come? To either blow your brains out or something else. Stop using devil's peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. I'm gonna burn the board to the ground, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. Burn the board to the ground. Do it, or I'll force you to. I'd rather not resort to violence. This is a place of understanding and acceptance. Understand that should you try, I will accept the burden of your death. <sighs> okay. Your broadcasts aren't working. Nobody is listening. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely? No, they really aren't. Hell, I'm not even sure if I can get out of here. You're only transmitting on a single radio frequency, and very few people can receive it. Uh, excuse me, I'm from Edgewater on Terra 2. If you'll pardon my saying, nobody I know has ever heard of you. All the more reason to double down on our efforts. Oh my god. We should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot, huh? If radio isn't working, we might try another way. It seems the captain's timing is more than just serendipitous. It must be fate. Oh, for the love of Christ. Old printing press for some time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. 
Good for you. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. You want to pr propaganda into magazines? Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. They obsess over tossball and fashion, and the board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally distracted by their positively shameful quality of editing and unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. Fair enough. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel them in. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. Yeah, I really don't care. I, I'm getting way too close to you people. Well, that didn't work out so well, now did it? If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Was a brief. Okay. Uh, MSI, su MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Hmm. Okay. Where's Splire? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Gotcha. Be right back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. Hmm. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Hmm. Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Good. 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 Oh, I want to blow all your fucking brains up so badly right now. I'm going to end this episode of The Outer Worlds off here. This is fun. It's definitely fun. But God damn it, do I hate you all. Oh, God, this is more difficult than I thought it would be. Okay, so we're going to have to do that next episode. Um, If you enjoyed, think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Right that, be good, be well. I know the pups just made a bunch of noise behind me. I don't care. I'll see all of you in the next one. Goodbye.